this week on the Hoover Boys. Billy's freaking out over here. He says he's got a button with an eagle on it or something. Hi, Billy. Hi, Curtis. Where are we at? Oh, it's big. Yeah. This? Yeah. Let me get those stones off of it. Oh. Welcome to this week's Hoover Boys episode. We're going to start this week right where we left off last week. We were doing some metal detected in the water. It was John, Bill, Muck, and myself. And we just made it over to a river crossing that we had never detected before. And right off the bat, Muck calls us over because he just found an early silver coin. The luck of the Muck. Luck of the Muck. That's a half real. Pillar? No, bust. the bust. Okay. King Charles the third. Right. Looks like 1780 something. Nice. You, you and the Spanish coins out of this river. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let me zoom in a little bit. There's the reverse. That is so wild. Looks like a Mexico City mint, as they typically are. Come on, focus in camera. There we go. 1781, if I had to guess. <laughs> what a culture. We'll find that Columbia Mint one of these days. One of these days. <laughs> do you have your box today? I do. All right, well, then here you go. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, sir. That's the way to do it, buddy. Right on. My man. Thank you. This could get interesting. The wind's picking up, so if you can hear that. Uh, Billy's popped a bunch of buttons, and John just got himself a copper. What is going on here? I can't figure out what's going on here. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, I think I can make it out. Colonial. But it's a KG, it's got a head facing to the left. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, it is facing left. What is that? Uh, you, it could be a left face in Connecticut. That is a weird looking bust on there. Mm -hmm. Huge congrats, brother. Nice, that thing is beautiful. My machine's beeping the boat right now, so I'm <laughs> about to have an aneurysm. Congrats. <laughs> Piece, I'm sure. Something going on right here. So many signals in here. Oh, stuff right there. Is that? <laughs> That's a rubber O ring. That's not my signal. Sixty-three. That should be a button. Should be. Got a little boat traffic out here now. Oh no, it's not a button. That's a copper. Or is it a button? I got a copper-sized something there, Mucky. Uh, maybe it was a button. It's a sh broken off shank piece. Yeah, I do believe this is a button. I must say a coin turned into a button, but can't be too sure. We'll go with big button for now. Oh, put that in the pocket. Oh, <laughs> can't keep it in my hand. One way high tone here. Sounds like some iron and a high tone. Hey, I think I got my first coin. You got a coin? Oh, you got a copper? Yeah, it's copper. Bring it over. Whatever it is, I think I got it. Oh, it's a 70 now. Billy's apparently got a coin.
Uh, there's my signal. Nothing too too amazing. It's a little piece of a piece of copper. What do you got, Bailey? Right there. Uh, yeah, that's a copper. Unfortunately, I do not think you're gonna get an ID though. I don't care. Still my first in the water. Your first ever? In the water, yeah. You've been water digging before. You never dug a copper? first copper, I believe, in the water. Really? Yeah. Well, huge congrats, brother. Right. Yeah, I don't see an ID, but if we figure out an ID later, maybe it'll show up in the wrap up. We give it a little side light. Good job, Billy. <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Good job, Bill. This sounds pretty nice when I hit it just right. Be good to me. I don't need anything spectacular, just something fun. Maybe. Maybe. I can't tell, there's so many signals in here. I feel like I had to get in some, I feel like I had to have gotten something out there. Oh, there it is, a little tiny button. No little button. That's it, that thing's sounding great. Oh, it's so much fun being the camera guy. Where you at, Billy? Stop running away. who has got another another coin. Oh. See so he's got some details on this one. Oh. It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. That almost looks like King George the First. Yep, that's King George the First, buddy. Early 1700s all day long. King George the First. Never got any date on it. I think you'll be able to get a date off of it. 1720s. Huge congrats, Billy. Thanks. Killing it. Look at it. He's digging. I'm filming. Don't lose that. <laughs> congrats. Well, unfortunately, John's day just got cut short. Yeah. Because we just got on it. Here's his finds. We get. Uh, is this the KG2 from earlier? Yes. Yep. Little thimble. This little lead button. Hold on. My machine is just going. Under the boat. That was really loud. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. And this turns out to be his first ever Connecticut copper. Be nice if it focused in on it there for me. But it's a left facing Connecticut copper. I've never even seen them before. I think I've only seen one or two of them come out of the ground ever. I think that they're more rare of the bunch. <laughs> Congrats, brother. Yeah, man. Next time. Good time. Next time, brother. Yeah. Good job. Well, there goes John and Muck. Figured I'd beep right here where the uh, the boat was sitting. Because we couldn't get that while it was here. Decent signal here. Could be a dandy. Something going on. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's got a flying eagle. <laughs> 1857 flying eagle. It's beautiful. Bobby's gonna be so jealous. Oh, that's right. Billy hasn't found a flying eagle yet either. Dude, it's immaculate. Look at that coin. That thing is amazing. The water preserved it perfectly. 1857. Fly an eagle scent. I'm sorry, it's really wavy right now. It's hard for me to sit still. That is a beautiful, beautiful flying eagle. Sorry, Billy and Bobby. That makes me super happy. I haven't dug a flying eagle in a long time. Buck usually finds these. And it was directly underneath the boat. <laughs> That's too cool. Sorry about the growth on my head. I'm trying to get some live footage. Yes. So you got a big dandy? Oh, I got a huge dandy up there. Big dandy. It's got circles Anything on it. it? Yeah, circles are going around the edge and whatever's in the center. I can't tell. Huge thing he's got a GW. Yeah. I don't 
think so. I don't know. I, I can't see it on there. I, God, I hope it is. I'd love to see them come out of the water. I can't tell though, buddy. Awesome big 1700s button now. <laughs> you having fun, Billy? I'm having amazing. I hope Mark gets back soon. Let's see go here. Diver going in. Oh, is that it? Oh, fun. Plenty too shell. No, there's more down here. Hold on. May not have been it. Put a minnow. <laughs> there's a button. More? So many signals look a button and a fishing sinker. <laughs> That's silly. That sounds pretty good. Now the muck's back in the water. Back in business. Uh, so many signals here, it's out of this world. You can't leave a two foot area hard, look at it. No. I still want to do the other side. This sounds too good, let me go with the probe. Are you doing it? Huh? Around the point? Either way. I don't care where. The point even sounds good right now. Oh, I just saw a silver. Uh -oh. I had a silver. I knocked it out of my hand. Ooh. Can I come over and hang out with you until small you find big. it? Small big. It was small. Tiny, tiny, kind of half dime? I don't know. Yeah, I want to say it was in the 80s, so it's probably a dime. Oh, where'd it go? I'm probably just smashing it in all the rocks. Oh god. I just pulled up something that wasn't my signal. Oh, try again. What is that? That signal too? No. There's another little tar dude, there's multiple targets in every hole. Yeah. Where's my silver at though? Huh. Back to it. Alright, all right. Let's see right here my beef stick again. I knew that was the silver. There it is. There is it? Alright. Come on, baby. Be there. Got it on the probe. Just can't scoop it. All right, this should be it. Yep, there it is. It's a little one. Oh. I don't even know if that was my signal. Is it a half dime? Is it a trime? It's a bust half dime. Nice. Heck yeah, nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought it was a dime. It's a cap. It's a cat bust half dime. Cat bust half. Yeah. Oh man, I just got busted in the water. Let me get a close up of that. It's so hard for me to stay still with these waves banging into me. There's the reverse. There's the five cents of the eagle. And bada bing! Look at that. How beautiful is that? I think it was an 1829. <laughs> I thought it was a dime that fell out of my hand, so I'm definitely going to recheck this area, but my eyes have been playing tricks on me all day. That is awesome. A half real and a bust half dime out of here so far. Yeah, I think it's 1829. Give her a little kissy over top my, over top my uh, strainer. <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh, baby. I am so pleased with this coin. I mean, my dad. And that's why I did it over my strainer. <laughs> Muck's first coin since he's been back. He went on the other side of the boat. Now far from my flying eagle. And he got a flying eagle. <laughs> I'll focus on my hand. Oh, that is so cool. You got the 1858. 
pretty cool. So Billy needs to get to 56, right? Yeah. That won't happen. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Billy hasn't found that coin yet either. Oh. So it's Bob and Bill. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Bill. Sorry, Billy. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Billy's freaking out over here. He says he's got a button with an eagle on it or something. Hi, Billy. Hi, Curtis. Where are we at? Oh, it's big. Yeah. This? Yeah. Let me get those stones off of it. Oh, that's War 1812, brother. Is it? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. It's Navy. Let me get it in my hand correctly. I need the camera to focus. Oh, yeah. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. First piece of military today. Yeah, buddy. War 1812. Good job, Billy. Thank you. You're doing very well on the buttons today. <laughs> and the coppers. So I don't have a copper yet. It's the hat. It's the hat. That's right. You got a new hat this morning. Yeah. Good looking hat, too. Like on an okay looking boy. Oh. <laughs> Well, we came around the little point working like these thick rocks. <clears throat> Still tons of high tones and stuff. I thought I just popped out a two reals cob. <laughs> it had me going. This is that looks like black silver, but it's lead. It might be a cloth seal. It's got a uh, bunch of words, letters, make something on there. I don't know. It's really cool looking, whatever it is. Well. I know it's a bag seal or a cloth seal or something like that. No idea what it says though. It had me going. Looked like a big hammered piece of black silver. Huh. What's up, Muck? Oh, it's wet over here. <laughs> a little bit of sunlight left. And the Muck just scored a button. It says it's Civil War. Oh yeah. Come on, focus camera. Huh. Why are you being a douche today? There we go. <laughs> Civil War infantry. That is beautiful. The river buttons that have designs and details, that there's nothing sweet. better. Right? Really Good nice. job, that's awesome. Yeah, but, yeah. that boat is not awesome. <laughs> it's one of those uh, big manhood boats right there. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, Billy. Unfortunately, today's getting cut a little short because yeah. that is a storm cloud, and we've already heard some thunder. And this is an aluminum boat. And this is and, and this is an aluminum boat, correct? So we're out of here. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> we're, we're going right towards it. This isn't good. <laughs> well, we made it. We made it. it. We did not get caught in the storm. Thank God. Mm -hmm. I've, I've done. I've played that game one too many. Well, one's one too many times, but way too many times. So, no. too bad John had to leave early. Um, got on a couple more keepers after he left. Here's some of the trash. Here's some more. Some others made it into a uh, trash bag and trash can already. That's a weird, funky-looking monkey. Mm -hmm. What's that over here, Billy? Anything good? What is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's a board. Don't be uh, confused. There's a lot of stuff over here that's just like bits and pieces. There's some fishing stickers I'm going to repurpose. What do you got over here, Billy? You put in some work today. This is all Billy over here. I don't know if I've ever seen you dig that many buttons ever. Nope. <laughs> he just tore up the little buttons. Tore them up. What is that? Something on that? Or is that just a back mark? Just a back mark. Got some fishing sinkers. A nice uh, big musket ball with the spruce still on there. Big dandy button. He was like, I got a GW. 
it does have a little snowflake design on there or something some pottery that's the copper we couldn't really make out anything it looks like there might be a bus facing right so it could be a kg three that's definitely a king george the first and you can see his awesome navy button there nice war 1812 here's the muck stuff he got on a couple pewter spoon bowls what is that now oh, i found some of them look at that freaking honker six ounce fishing sinker i guess they're fishing for sharks here's his buttons he got on some big buttons nice little snowflake pattern there there's his dandy you got on uh john shield nickel sorry john you got on a flying eagle sorry bill and bob <laughs> and a nice little half out of there 1781 a little spanish treasure silver coin um there's a whole mess load of lead there did you miss did i miss something oh you had that i i knew i saw it there's that eagle eye button civil war it was in between you and billy <clears throat> I found a bunch of those little tack nails. They sounded really nice. Whole bunch of, uh, that last light was, I sorry, I got a mosquito in my mouth. That light was loaded with uh, lead. There's that thing I thought was gonna be a two real cob. And I found a bunch of buttons myself, including some really little ones and a little pewtery one there. That's a memorial, that's a weedy. That's an Indian, believe it or not. There's my flying eagle thing has got amazing details. And I got busted today on the river. 1829. And until next week, help clean up the ground and the water. Dig it all and take your trash with you. We got Billy here. Why Billy? Because all holes matter. He made up that line, you believe that? <laughs>